Hello. So today we will start the second lesson, second session or second class on this topic probability. We will learn definitely MCQs, but before learning MCQs, uh, a little synopsis which was left of yesterday, we will complete that. Yesterday I did not talk anything about the binomial distribution. So let me tell you a little about binomial distribution. And after that, we will go to multiple choice questions. In binomial distribution, R is treated as success. Total, there are N trials. So probability of getting success is given as NCR, P power R, Q power N minus R. What is this P of R? The Bernoulli's trials is given like probability of getting success. This is probability of getting success on the whole. N is the number of trials. R is the success. P is the probability of success and Q is probability of failure. So, P plus Q will be 1. So, P is 1 minus Q or Q is 1 minus P. In that way, you can take. Actually, this N, P, Q are parameters of binomial distribution. In the same binomial distribution, Mathematical expectation of X, that is the mean, is given as NP. This is called mean or average. Variance is given as NPQ. And standard deviation is square root of NPQ. So this is all about binomial distribution. Now, there are many more shortcut methods while doing problems. If we come across shortcut methods, we will definitely discuss about that. But we will start examples now. Or questions. The first question is, four dice are thrown. You have to find the probability that the product of numbers is 36. And that probability you have to find. So, when four dice are thrown, then N of S will be 6 power 4, the sample space. And what is 6 power 4 that we will discuss later? You can write it as 36 into 36 at present. You need not simplify further. Now, if you take the event A as getting product of numbers as 36, then how many ways it is possible? N of A. So for that, I will make the set A. 
ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಡೈ ಒನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಡೈ ಒನ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಡೈ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಡೈ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಐ ಗೆಟ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಡೈ ಟು ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಡೈ ಟು ಥರ್ಡ್ ಡೈ ತ್ರೀ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಡೈ ತ್ರೀ ದೆನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ನಾವು this itself can be arranged in four factorial ways and these can be arranged in four factorial ways not exactly four factorial but four factorial by two factorial two factorial because one is coming two times six is coming two times not exactly four factorial but two factorial two factorial so this happens in six ways isn't it this also can happen in six ways similarly there is another combination 1 4 3 3 here also the product is 36 but this can be arranged in 4 factorial by 2 factorial that is 12 ways and finally there is one more case where we have first die 1 second die 2 third die 3 fourth die 6 so here also the product is 36 but these can be arranged in four factorial ways that is 24 ways so the total number of ways in which we can get the product of numbers as 36 is 6 plus 6 plus 12 plus 24 so n of a is this 6 plus 6 plus 12 plus 24 so probability of that event to occur is 6 plus 6 plus 12 plus 24 by n of s 36 into 36 or i can say it is 48 by 36 into 36 12 fours 12 threes 4 ones 4 nines that's why i did not multiply instead of multiplying if you cancel it will be easy so probability is 1 by 27 and that's the answer question number 2 the number of seven digit integers with sum of digits equal to 10 and they are formed by using digits 1 2 and 3 only is so here total we have seven digits so i will take 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 in these seven digits x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 x6 x7 that mean that means x i's are sitting where i is starting from 1 and going up to 7 and these xi numbers they are to be started from 1 
and end at that only one, two, three you can use. But according to the question, these seven digits x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 plus x5 plus x6 plus x7, when you add, sum must be equal to 10. So, there are about two cases here. I will take case one first. In case one, one or oh, exactly, what I'll take is exactly one of the X size B3. And exactly one of the remaining X size is two. So in this case, the number of seven digit numbers is how many numbers they can form is total there are seven places seven factorial by now we are taking three and two the numbers exactly one is three and exactly one of the remaining is two so for instance i will take this as three and out of the remaining this i will take it as two so already three plus two i have five right so this should be one this should be one this should be one and this should be one this should be one so the remaining five should be one the remaining 5 x size. Then only 5 plus 5 you will get 10. So because total 7 digit numbers are there 7 factorial. And when I take these arrangements. When I arrange this possibility. Because of 5 ones. I will have to write denominator 5 factorial. And 7 factorial by 5 factorial is 7 into 6 into 5 factorial by 5 factorial. That is 42 ways by arranging. I can form it. So as I said, 42 ways are there. Now, I will take case 2. In case 2, no xi is 3. So what I will take is exactly 3 of the xi b2 and remaining xi are 1. That means when I take x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, x6, x7, no xi I will take 3. But any 3 of the xi's, whatever I like, I will take 2. So 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 2, 6 I got. Total I must get 10. Total 10. So already I have 6. That means remaining should be 1, 2, 3, 4. Remaining xi should be 1. So here in this case, the number of 7 digit numbers formed will be total 7, so 7 factorial. Ones are coming 4 times, so 4 factorial. And twos are coming three times, so three factorial. Now this will be seven into six into five into four factorial. 
and three factorial, four factorial I'll write as it is. Three factorial I'll write three into two. So first of all, I'll cancel three into two, six. I'll cancel four factorial. So there are 35 ways. So first I got 42 ways, first case. Second case, I got 35. Total 77 ways are there to form such seven digit numbers. Let's go to third question. A bag contains three white, I will write as W, four black, I will write B, and two red balls. I'll write as red R. If two balls are drawn, at random, then the probability that both the balls are white, both the balls are I have to erase this. Okay, so both the balls are white. That is what I have to find. Now, total 3 plus 4 plus 2, 9 balls are there. And then, Two balls are drawn. In 9C2 ways. That is starting from 9. Take two numbers by 2 factorial. So 36 ways. But the event E is getting two white balls. So in this event, total, how many white balls are there? Three. Out of that, two white balls can be drawn in three C2 ways. Start with 3, take 2 numbers by 2 factorial. So in 3 ways, this is the way in which the event can happen. So the required probability will be 3 by 36. That is 1 by 12. That's there in the option. Okay. Now we can go to fourth question. From a group of five men, I'll write it as M, and three women, I'll write it as W. A committee of four persons. A committee of four persons is to be selected randomly. The probability that there is majority of men, the probability that there is majority of men is So, this is possible when out of four members of the committee, we have to select 
total four members in the committee we will select some men we will select some women so majority men means because we have to select four members all the four men no women that is one case other cases three men and one women then we can't take the other case two men two women we can't take because men are not in majority so the first case can happen because total five men are there and three women are there the first case can happen out of five men selecting four women and out of uh, sorry four men and total out of three women selecting no women that is the number of ways the second case is total out of five men selecting three men total out of three women selecting one so 5c4 is 5c1 that is fine 3c0 is 1 so 5 ways here 5c3 is same as 5c2 start with 5 take two numbers by two factorial two twos 3c1 is 3 so 10 into 3 30 ways so the number of selections which they require that can happen in 5 plus 30 that is 35 ways but without any condition if you see total eight persons are there and we have to select let me out of eight persons without any condition if you see we have to select four members so that can be done in 8c4 ways start with 8 7 6 5 take four numbers and down four factorial 3 2 6 will cancel 4 2 35 times 2 70 ways so the required probability will be 35 by 70 or 1 by 2 let's go to question number 5 in a binomial distribution the probability of getting a success is 1 by 4 and standard deviation is 3 then its mean is that is what you have to find so binomial distribution the probability of success p is given as 1 by 4 then standard deviation formula that is root of npq is given as 3 if p is given q we can find it's 1 minus p 1 minus 1 by 4 that is 3 by 4 so when i square both the sides to remove the square root and p q equal to 9 or i will write n into p is 1 by 4 Q is three by four equal to nine. So n will be nine into four into four by three, three threes. So n is forty eight. But here they are asking you mean. 
The formula for mean is NP. We got N as 48 and they gave us P as 1 by 4. So in this way we get mean as 12. That's it. If you are good at formulas, you can easily do problems like this. Let's go to question number 6. If a coin is tossed n times, then the probability of the head coming odd times is this is what you have to find. So how to find this? Actually, if I take probability of getting head as success, then probability of getting head will be 1 by 2. So, probability of success is 1 by 2. Probability of failure will be 1 minus 1 by 2. That is 1. Now, total n times the coin is tossed. And they are asking probability of getting head odd number. Probability of getting head one time. Probability of getting head three times, odd number of times. Probability of getting head five times. Probability of getting head seven times. Like that, odd number of times. So, according to binomial distribution, probability of 1, n, because this is r. What is the probability of r in binomial theorem? What is the formula? ncr, p power r, q power n minus r. So, r is 1. 1 by 2 power 1. q, 1 by 2 power n minus 1. This is what I have. Isn't it? Similarly, probability of getting head 3 times. NC3. 1 by 2 power 3. 1 by 2 power N minus 3. Probability of getting head 5 times. NC5. 1 by 2 power 5. 1 by 2 power N minus 5. Probability of getting head 7 times. NC7. 1 by 2 power 7. 1 by 2 power N minus 7. Like this I will be getting. That means it is NC1 into 1 by 2 power N. Because when I add the powers 1 and N minus 1, I will get N. Plus NC3, 1 by 2 power N. When I'll add the powers 3 and n minus 3, I'll get n. Like that nc5 into 1 by 2 power n. nc7 into 1 by 2 power n. So I can take 1 by 2 power n common. nc1 plus nc3 plus nc5 plus nc7 and so on I will have. So that is nothing but... 1 by 2 power n into this formula I gave you in combinations. It is 2 power n minus 1. So when I apply the power rule n minus 1 minus n, it is 2 power minus 1. 
that is 1 by 2. I got the answer. Let's go to next question. Question number 7. Four cards are drawn at random from a pack of 52 cards as usual which I have shown you the previous class. The probability of getting all the four cards of the same suit is now total 52 cards are there. I'll change the color. Out of that, we are drawing four cards that can happen in 52 C4 ways. Now, there are four suits. Total four suits are there. What are they? Club. Club will be like this. Next. Oh. I have drawn in a different way. I am telling different. So the first one is club. Club means it will be like this. The next is spade. Spade means it will be like this. Club, I will draw a little neat. Club will be like this, yes. Next is speed. The next is heart. This is heart. And the next is diamond. So diamond will be like this. So these are the four suits and each suit there are 13 cards with club, 13 cards with spade, 13 cards with heart and 13 cards with diamond. Now all the four cards are of same suit. That means either all the four cards are drawn from club cards, all the four are spade, or all the four are heart, or all the four are diamond. So four cards of same suit. That means all four cards will be club. Having club. Or all the four cards will have spade. Or all the four cards will have heart. Or all the four cards will have diamond. This is what they mean. Four cards of same suit. So this can happen in how many ways? From 13 club you have to select four. Or from 13 spades you have to select four. Or from 13 hearts you have to select four. Or for 13 diamonds, from 13 diamonds you have to select four. So it's nothing but four times 13 C4. That's nothing but four times. Okay. This we will simplify later when we will find the probability. So 
if we go to the required probability that will be 4 into 13 c4 by 52 c4 so i can write 4 into 13 start with 13 and take four numbers 13 12 11 10 by 4 factorial 4 3 2 1 in denominator, start with 52, 51, 50, 49, four numbers by 4 factorial. So, first of all, I will cancel this 4 factorial. Next, 13 ones, 13 fours. So, this 4 and this 4 also will cancel. Next, 10 ones, 10 fives. I think that's all. We'll get cancelled. 12 into 11. Left off is 51 into 5 into 49. This is left. I think I can cancel a little more also. 3, 4, 12 and 3, 17. So I have 44 by 4,165. This will be the required probability. Let's go to question number 8. We'll work as fast as possible because we don't have much time and we have to complete many problems. So four cards are drawn from a pack of 52 cards. The probability of drawing exactly one pair is so actually what they are talking about I'll explain to you What type of cards we have? We have 13 denominations. Actually, we don't have one, but in place of one, we have A's. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then J, then Q, then K. 13 denominations are there. For selecting exactly one pair, we select first any three denomination. They said exactly one pair. So we select first any three denominations. Two cards from one and one each from the two. That means, suppose, I will select two cards. Two cards from one denomination. Right? Then I have to select one one card from the other two denominations. What I'm doing is, I'll tell you. For selecting one pair, we select first any three denominations. 
I am taking any three denominations out of thirteen denominations. There are thirteen denominations, but I will take only any three denominations. Whatever I want, I will take. Okay, let they be A, B, C. So if I write this A, B, C denomination, suppose if I take because I have to take one pair. One pair means what? A denomination I will take two. So the remaining two card total four cards I am taking. So one card of B denomination, one card of C denomination. Suppose if I take A one card, B I have to take two and C one. If I take A and B one, C I have to take two. At least one pair. Exactly one pair should be there. That is what. So the favorable ways you can see are first of all from thirteen we have to select three three denominations. Right. And then there are three ways here. And then now four cards. Out of four cards, two cards are of one denomination. Out of four cards, one card is of another denomination. One card is of another denomination. This will be the total possible cases. But total we have fifty two cards, and we are selecting four cards in fifty two C four ways. So denominator will be fifty two C four. To get the probability, the required probability. That is what I am doing here. Numerator and denominator. So I can write thirteen C three. Start with thirteen, twelve, eleven, by three factorial. That is six. Six twos I have into three. What is four C two? Start with four. Take two numbers by two factorial. Two twos I have. Four C one is four. Four C one is four, and fifty two C four will be fifty two into fifty one into fifty into forty. So we have four numbers by four factor. Four into three into two. So first four thirteens, then three seventeen. And then lastly, two is left, so two twenty five. That means after cancellation, I have forty-eight into one hundred thirty-two by seventeen into twenty-five into forty-nine. That is six thousand three hundred thirty-six by twenty thousand eight hundred twenty-five. When you write it in decimals. Point three zero four two, or round it up because in the options you have point three. Like this, we have to take each and every number or each and every point into consideration. Okay, we can go to next question. What's the next question? Question number nine. 
a bag contains six white and four black balls two balls are drawn at random the probability that they are of same color that they are of same color that is what you have to find okay so how i will do it total how many balls are there 6 plus 4 10 balls out of these 10 balls two balls are drawn and that can happen in 10 c to ways so this is n of s now the event is both the balls should be of same color that means both should be white or both should be black so if both are white total six white balls from that you are selecting two plus or means plus total four black balls are there from that you are selecting two so this is n of the event n of e that means the required probability will be 6c2 plus 4c2 by 10c2 6c2 is 6 into 5 by 2 4c2 is 4 into 3 by 2 10c2 is 10 into 9 by 2 but denominators the two threes two twos two fives they cancel so i have 15 plus 6 by 45 that is 21 by 45 three sevens three fifteens so the probability is 3 by 15 without wasting time we'll go to question number 10 this question number 10 is little complicated quickly we will complete and most probably this is the last question an integer is chosen at random from the numbers ranging from from the numbers ranging from 1 to 50 the probability that the integer chosen is multiple of Two or three or ten is now total. I'll take another color. Actually, I like this color. So total fifty numbers. you are selecting just one integer one number is chosen that can happen in 50 c1 that is 50 ways a is event of multiples of 2 so 2 Two is four. Two three six. Two four eight. Two five ten. Two six twelve. Two seven is fourteen. Two eight sixteen. 
then 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50. So N of A is clearly 25. B is the event of drawing multiple of three. Three ones, three twos, three threes, three fours. Like that, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36, 39, 42, 45, 48. That's it. So N of B is 16. Next, C is the event of drawing multiple of 10. 10 1s 10, 10 2s 20, 10 3s 30, 10 4s 40, 10 5s 50. So N of C is 5, exactly. So probability of getting multiple of 2 is 25 by 50, that is 1 by 2. Probability of getting multiple of 3 is 16 by 15, that is 2 8s, 2 25s. Probability of getting multiple of 10, 5 by 50, that is 5 1s, 5 10s. Now, the main thing is, if you take A intersection B, you will get multiple of 6. Because you can see, what are A intersection B? It's common. 6. Then 12, then 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48. So A intersection B, what all we got? There are multiples of 6. 6 1, 6 12, 6, six two 12, 6 3 is 18, 6 4 is 24, 6 5 is 30, 6 6 36, 6 and 42, 6 8 48. So, N of A intersection B is 8. And probability of getting multiples of 6 is 8 by 50, 2 fours, 2 25s. Now what is B intersection C? C, B intersection C? What are the common things you got in B intersection C? Just 30. So it's multiples of 30. And you get only one number. So N of B intersection C is 1. What is probability of B intersection C? 1 by 50. Similarly, C intersection C A. What will you get when you take multiples of 20? 
You can see C intersection A. I'll show you. This is the set A, C. And this is the set A. So you have 20, you have 40. In C also you have 20, you have 40. So it's multiples of 20. That is 20 ones, 22s. So N of C intersection A is 2. And probability of C intersection A is 2 by 50. That is 1 by 25. Now the next is A intersection B intersection C. When you take this, what will you get? Event of drawing a multiple of 60. It is getting multiple of 60. Because 2, 3, 10. Getting 2, getting multiples of 2, getting multiples of 3, getting multiples of 10. It will become multiples of 60. But we don't have multiples of 60 at all. Empty set. So N of A intersection, B intersection, C is 0. That means probability of A intersection, B intersection, C will be 0 by 50. That is 0. Now what is the required probability? Probability of getting multiples of 2 or multiples of 3 or multiples of 10. This is the probability. And what is the formula for this? Probability of A plus probability of B plus probability of C minus probability of A intersection B minus probability of B intersection C minus probability of C intersection A plus probability of A intersection B intersection C. I'll keep all with the same denominator. That is 50. Probability of A, we got 25 by 50. Probability of B, we got 16 by 50. Probability of C, we got 5 by 50. Probability of A intersection B, we got 8 by 50. Probability of B intersection C, we got 1 by 50. Minus probability of C intersection A, we got 2 by 50. Minus probability of A intersection B intersection C, we got 0. So this I can write 46 minus 11 by 50. That is 35 by 50. 5 sevens, 5 tenths. This is the required probability. We don't have time to go for the next question. With this, we end the class. In the next class, we will meet with a new chapter.